Keep your energy right. Virgie gang, yeah, we get it, and it's too insane. Too insane, you wanna go and get it, levitate, levitate. We said he coming, and there's no debating. But why you hating? Yeah, we coming, it's the Virgie gang. Virgie gang, wanna go and get it. Virgie gang, Virgie gang, yeah, we about to get it. Virgie gang, Virgie. Uh, I don't know what it is, Virgie Virgie, but every time I come to do a reading for you guys, we always got some sort of banger that I make up, or it comes from somewhere, or the Fergalicious wants to throw in a couple tracks for us. Like, I don't know what it is, Virg Virg, but I love you guys, and I truly appreciate you guys. Did I even hit the record button? Oh, y'all got the intro, yeah. So, as you guys see, they don't get songs like this, and I don't think I have. Oh, I do have some Virgo in my chart. Mm, let's talk real nice, you feel me? Let's talk real nice, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nonetheless, Virgie Virgie, we're going to see what's good and coming on for you in the month of August. Jeez, August already. Crazy, crazy. You already know what highly favored and protected meaning. You know, I've been formed, shall prosper. We're going to lay that right there. You feel me? We give all the glory to the big guy upstairs. All right, you already know we got another day. We're abundant, affluent. You feel me? We're doing big things and we're the best versions of ourselves. Real talk. All right, so let's get straight to it. I don't even know if I split this, but... There we go. I don't even know if I split this, but we're going to just keep keep going. So, Virgie Virg, as you heard, we have a phenomenal new theme song. I like it. It's awesome. It fits in your energy. Okay, so um, this was a bonus card. Seven of Wands. All right, Virgie Virg, stand in your ground. All right, maybe a bit defensive, possibly at an advantage, but I see you moving away, moving away towards calmer waters, better days. Hmm. What's going on, Virgie Virg? I don't know. Let's go. Let's see who's good. Virgie Virg. Virgie Virg. We're going to have a spiritual mixtape coming out soon. I keep speaking about it, so I'm probably going to do it just goofing. And we're really going to have something come together. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. OMG, what is this? You're like, uh-uh, no, do not pass go. No $200 here. No. Okay. And somebody over here is like, yeah, I'm about to come step up to this. You feel me? I want to fight for this. So I'm putting a little bit of work in this situation. Mm, a bit nervous. Eight of Swords. They're mentally imprisoned over here. Stuck. Almost bound. Oof horrible mental state now we definitely have somebody who's grounded all right a great partner all right i don't know what type of partner this is i'm still working on the types of partners there are but romantic and platonic are the same thing hold on no they're not ah okay cool so i'm gonna add another one to that okay <laughs> nonetheless king of pentacles all right he seems to be watching gathering information from a distance while you're over here just having your guard up living your life doing your ones and twos now from you see the page of swords with the eight of swords that's something like nine swords it's a little bit of anxiety all right maybe you feel me you see the, the distress the fear all right it's reoccurring thoughts possibly nightmares Ooh, tough 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 okay okay but he's a king of pentacles very grounded very stable very secure in his energy all right, somebody's moving towards calmer waters, better days. All right, honestly, it feels like it's this one right here because he's the nervous one. And you're just like, yeah. Mm -mm. So I don't know what's going on with this deck. Two of Pentacles, Virgie Virg. What's going on here? What is going on here? All right. Whew. Got to balance, got to maintain, make sure things is good to go. All right, maybe there's some family situations that have to be stabilized before this energy can come in for this. Okay, okay. it's a lot going on, Virgie Virg. A lot going on. Boom, okay. All right. We've got this. Right. We've got this. All right, where's my coffee? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's see what's going on. So he's looking as if he's deemed a relationship, a situation, an investment with you as the happily ever after 10 of cups. You can't have more cups than 10 cups. I mean, maybe the most I can pass you another cup. But then again, I don't know. All right. Most cups you can have is 10. Yes. All right. And they're ready to seize that opportunity. Come in there with the swiftness. All right. Little to no thinking. But the good thing about the Knight of Swords is he's a great 
quick analytical thinker that's his jam all right that's his jam so they're looking to celebrate all right they definitely want to celebrate they want to get over these hurdles whatever was going on before that you're now defensive over clearly you've gotten over it but now it's it's their turn all right they want to take this leap of faith in getting there Ooh, it's a lot okay so we're crossing the bridge okay we're crossing the bridge i see you buddy oh nine of swords told you told you distress what's gonna happen oh my god is this gonna go as planned oh my goodness how is this gonna come together bergy berg bergy berg mm, i don't know i don't know yeah so we're chilling over here we don't we're not having the tower we don't we don't have a tower we're chilling it's going on over there for this guy okay all right okay so yeah you're just chilling money and beeswax labeled as somebody's ten of cups while you live your life money business and that's a very nice fit you're wearing you feel me you feel me keep doing what you're doing you're at some sort of advantage keep up okay let's see what we got for this Virgie very communication could be friendly communication um, i almost wanted to say maybe an invite um don't know why i said that hold on bonus king of swords to the eight of cups oh so you guys haven't talked since the departure you walked away from this situation faith that works is dead and they've been spying collecting information as you move forward because they deem you as a <laughs> the the queen of cups the deck's sweetheart yeah yeah okay and it's over now i don't know what song that was i think I, i'm pretty sure the song it's over now older 90s anywho so like i was saying they're gonna send some sort of communication that's friendly all right lighthearted. um yeah i would say light-hearted more in the friend zone all right just kind of not so much to test the waters but coming forward and Ooh, so they didn't like that i said friends yeah i said it did i hit the record button i did that's right friends turn me off again you're not even overheating bro you're not all right so yeah that energy didn't like that so they don't want to be in the friend zone and they decided to turn off my my phone which you know wasn't hitting anything we did a whole like six minutes and some change no problems you feel me said that friend's word and then just saying somebody's emotional all right bergy berg let's get back to business okay Okay, so yeah, it's definitely lighthearted energy. Maybe it's an apology. All right, definitely wanting to heal the situation. And I only say that because you already know this is wish fulfillment. All right, somebody who's truly in their own energy. You don't need anybody, anything, people, place, or thing for anything other than maybe like, yeah, I feel like some positive karmic brownie points today. Let me go help my local neighbor or somebody. You feel me? Like simple things. You go within to truly solve your problems. Like somebody who's truly emotionally fulfilled and invested within themselves. All right. And honestly, somebody like that, I would believe has a pretty awesome relationship with the most high. I'm just saying, I mean, not tooting the horns, but I'm just saying for you to be that happy with yourself. Come on now. Come on now. Anywho, apology, something friendly, something lighthearted it's a fish in a cup it, it, it's a fish in a cup all right it's a fish in a cup but again with the three cups over here and the fish in a cup over here i'm not saying four of cups but what i'm saying is they're trying to make their way into the graces of you because as we've seen up there you only have one two cards on three cards on the table right and uh four cards on the table now and um you seem to be in your own lane in your own world doing your own thing all right, you apparently have all the power to this situation coming up as the nine of cups all right coming up as the nine of pentacles we're gonna yeah hey, we'll keep it over here this is where you landed. this is where you landed and then we have the seven of cups mm, mm, mm. so somebody's in their head they're not really sure how to go about this situation but i'm just focused on this little bit of tornado in the corner there that's what i see mm-hmm the mayhem but also see the snake which symbolizes transformation which is i you feel me eight of pentacles don't know what that is don't know what that is either. you know when i first got into the like whole tarot thing one of my little readers 
four of wands bottom of the deck one of my readers should always say oh this one wants to be seen oh this one wants to come out and i never kind of said i'm like yo she she's joshing she's joshing she's joshing but like when i reflect on myself now and i just feel the vibrations and the cards and where to, everything i understand where she's coming from you feel me so like it, it's kind of crazy like watching the transition from back then to now and it's like you know what we have the same gifts i wonder if that's why we were led to each other so that like you know in the future like oh you know that's like my soul uh, anywho Four Wands, bottom of the deck, I believe it was. Okay, that happily ever after. A nice union. Okay, something that's warm, something that's pleasant. Ooh. Ooh. They're taking their time to send this message, okay? That they really want to invest in this. They see a potential of a Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth and success. Not to mention, I believe you're a Nine of Cups and a Nine of Pentacles, which means you only need one more. <laughs> you're good to go right okay so somebody seems to be you you're over here working very hard blood sweat and tears eight of pentacles okay boom empress energy on the table don't talk to me like that virgy Virg. virgy Virg. okay wow okay okay so we got the empress most powerful feminine energy in the deck knows knowing how and when to embody exude each energy do what's necessary appropriate for everybody to have a win all right but always does she put herself first because she understands she, she gotta put her mask on first all right so it's <laughs> wonderful wonderful okay so you just working on your empress energy very much guarding yourself protecting yourself making sure everything's calm cool collect okay let's go oh and this is all going on in the thick of the night hidden from you your mind in your beeswax you're doing what's best for you and i like that that's what we do you feel me we just you know, it's not for me it's not for me all right so you're just over here thugging it out you feel me looking as beautiful as you want to you feel me being as sweet and loving and compassionate as possible but your discernment is flawless okay like you're really just doing the one twos and it, it's just it's just it's thorough it's gangster okay four of wands let's keep going all right then will you forgive this energy they're ready to work for this. They're ready to fight for this. They're ready to be. How about to say? It. Released? Surrendered? Seen from another light? Ah! Seen from another light. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. Okay, Hierophant. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. So, yeah, so they're being very careful. They're being very strategic. All right, careful because clearly you're in the Empress energy and you're not going to tolerate or deal with just anything to make you feel good. It don't work like that. All right, so you're not going to settle. So this energy over here is coming up as a king. You embody four queens. He embodies a king. Of course, we can give him an opportunity. You know what? Let's give him an opportunity to show us what energy he is. But there's a lot of knights and pages on the table. And I'm being realsies. Let's go. I'm right. Who are you, King of Pentacles? Who are you? One card. One card, King of Pentacles. Who are you? King of Pentacles, who are you? Just one card, please. Just one card, please. Who are you, King of Pentacles? Just one card, please. Let's see what we got for you. Who are you, buddy? A Knight of Pentacles. Mm. All right, let's talk about it. Knight of Pentacles is a very diligent, hardworking energy. It takes him some time to get to where he's going, but he's a perfectionist. It takes him time, but he's the best knight of them all. All right, he's ready for a new beginning. Okay, we have a bit of a per bur burden, a problem, an issue on our hands with the Ten of Wands. There's some disappointment with the Five of Cups. So she walked away there was some disappointment so she walked away now there's other energies competing for this spiritual gangster well she's not really gangster she's just bad <laughs> sorry okay so they're being very careful yeah because they don't want to get their feels hurt but they're manifesting you virgy virg all right can we give them one more chance to come out let's just give them one more because they're just talking 
We just want to see your energy, bro. We just want to see who you are. That's it. Come on. Who are you, homie? You're passionate, new beginning. An ace, not a major arcana. Okay, not a king. King of swords. Okay, we got two kings. All right. Okay. He's cool. He's cool. Just tell you, I didn't see the emperor not one time in this read. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Where is... You know what? No. Oh, the truth is he is. He will turn into one once the wheel spins. Oh, so you have to kiss the frog before he can be an emperor. I need a coffee break. That is so ten of cups, right? That is such a ten of cups. Disgustingly cute. I like that. That's dope. I, I can't be an emperor till, till I'm in your arms. I, I know I'm the masculine energy, but I just can't. <laughs> Oh, we're going to cut this one down and make it a clip. All right, guys. I love you unconditionally. Empress, if this is the frog you would like to kiss, you can make an, an emperor. Now, remember, I say this all the time. All right. As an empress, you have four kingdoms that you've already mastered. You're running. They're operating on their own. You go in and you supervise from here to there. Okay? So that means you have a king and queen in each kingdom. All right? You're good to go. We have nothing to worry about. There's no excess. There's no, no shortages. Everything is perfectly put. All right. You've mastered that. Over here, on the other hand, because if you want to build an empire, you need two. All right. It's always two coming together in order to have an empire. But over here, we only have one king. We can say two because the king of swords, right? So two kings. Two things are mastered, which means there's two areas that may need extra work. All right. When you are in that state, if you decide to pull a page up, that page becomes an emperor, okay? But that doesn't mean that the work is done because they have the title. Just like somebody getting hired at the job. I've been that person plenty of times. You feel me? They hired me because I look amazing on paper, but then they realize I got a short attention span and I don't agree with their essay, their standard order of operations. And I end up changing everything how I want it done, but it's better numbers, but it doesn't fit their standards. You feel me? So I'm that person, okay? so. Do you want to deal with that? Do you? Think about it. Right? Do you want to make up for what should be done already because they want to do it their way or they may not know how to do it the appropriate way or they may just be emotionally emotional and upset and decide, you know what? I can do it better because I'm an Aries. That's just what we do. You feel me? We're just innovators. You feel me? We get right. That's what we do. Anywho. So, uh, yeah. So think about that. All right. Decisions clearly yours. It's in your court. You've been doing nothing but working on yourself, your craft, your hustle. You're at an advantage. You're looking wonderful. Your hair is flowing. And even when you put it up, it's looking wonderful. You feel me? <laughs> And he's watching from a, you know what? This is feeling more like a FaceTime call. So I'm going to get up out of here. I love you unconditionally. Virgie Virg, I love reading for you guys. I love, is this a Virgo reading? Is this a Virgo reading? I love reading for you guys. And you know what else? We have an animal spirit. Every time it's me and you, this is what happens. Every time it's us, this is what happens. I pulled an animal spirit for you because I love you so much. Okay, I, I pulled an animal spirit for everyone, just so we're clear. But I do love you so much, and you're the only one to have a real theme song. A consistent one that I sing every time, or will. And I'm going to put it on our spiritual mixtape. Owl! Right? No, no, no. The, the animal spirit is an owl. Right? No? Whatever. All right, so let's see what the owl is talking about. Abundance, clairvoyant, and treasures. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, the owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess Lakshmi and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. The empress, I see you, baby. I see you, girl. Look at them right next to each other in cahoots. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in a spiritual or material form. With the owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon. 
How can it further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world? Trust that wellspring of treasure is infinite. When in balance, we are generous, trusting, and secure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when out of balance, money quarrels and scarcity. Four of pentacles. Okay, and to bring the balance, we have to do an offering. An offering. Am I having money quarrels? Huh? What's going on here? What is this? Huh? And the first word I thought was gorgeous. <sighs> My head is everywhere. Okay. Okay, so we need to do an offering. That's not bad. That's not bad, Virgie Virg. Not bad. You have great energy. Great vibes. I love you all. Stay up. Stay positive. And honestly, your energy is fabulous. 